All right, now I know business has been a bit slow lately. Yes, and it's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here, Moxie. Now, does anyone have any bright ideas on how we can get business drumming up again? What about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? Whoa, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Helpful, Moxie. Really glad you're in the room right now. Have you guys forgotten what service we provide? Ah, those were the good times. I don't need any reminding, sir, considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week. One that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel nobody watches. Uh, hey, excuse me. What's obnoxious about a super fun jingle, all right? It's a fun distraction when an advertisement's spitting bullshit. People love musicals, sir. Exactly, Millie. And we're basically doing a musical. Are you gonna crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? Sir? Because right now, all I see is just my dad's asshole talking to me, crushing my dreams of being who I truly am inside. Are you trying to crush his dreams, Moxie? I... what? I thought I knew you. I can't believe you, Moxie, after I made you employee of the month. Okay, sir. I'm sorry. A commercial jingle is not comparable to musical theater. Nobody actually likes the jingles. I liked it. Do not, do not agree with him in front of me. Hi there, I'm Blitz. The O is silent, and I am the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? After lovingly killing my wife for fucking a delivery man, you can imagine my surprise when I wound up here, after the state of Ohio killed me. I really wish I could stick it to that yappy jobber who saw me hiding the body. Well, luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living world, we can help you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. When you want somebody gone and you don't want to wait too long, call the immediate murder professionals. And grenade or cyanide will make it look like suicide. The immediate murder professionals, we do our job so well, because we come straight up from hell. We'll kill your husband or your wife, we'll even let you keep the knife for the immediate murder profession. Doctor, he's not responding! Oh, what a stat! It didn't do anything! Damn it! I'm not losing another one! Clear! <laughs> Holy shit, it actually worked! He appears to be in stable condition, but he'll need surgery. Now, what insurance provider do you freaks have? The fuck is insurance? Kids die for free! I'd like to go on record and say that incident was Luna's fault. Dispatch is supposed to give us the right info on the target. It's very simple. Oh, sit on a dick, Moxie. You sit! Sit on a... and the... D do your job! Hey, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? She didn't do anything wrong. Are you kidding me, sir? She's awful. Hello, INP. Luna, plug up step. Go on. Happy adoption anniversary, Looney. I got you a little something. Is it a cure for syphilis? I... Oh. Then I don't want it! I'm sorry, the spiders! God damn it. Um, uh, excuse me. Did you just fax me an ad for weight loss? No. What? Why, why would anyone send me this? Come on. You know why. Whoever left the fucking avocado salad in the fridge, I'm taking it because I have the worst hangover right now. Why would you drink on a work night? I'm hungover from this morning, dumbass. Isn't that my lunch? You know what? I can't take this assault right now. I need to blow off some fucking steam! Ah! Blitz, that clingy rich asshole is on the phone, says it's urgent, wants to talk to you. He sounds a little DTF-y. Oh god, it was one time! And if I hadn't slept with that privileged asshole, none of us would have access to the living world. You what? Got the book, got the book. Got this fucking heavy book. 
Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Sorry, I fucked your husband. Let's... I heard you already! No, oh, what can I do you for this time, Stolas? There's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. Doesn't it? Well, yes, but more people die if nothing is done about it. And it gets lonely here. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. You know what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy? Oh, God fucking damn it. When I'm lonely, I become hungry. And when I become hungry, I want to choke on that red <laughs> of yours. <laughs> your sad and lick all of your <laughs> before taking out your <laughs> and <laughs> with more teeth until you're screaming <laughs> like a fucking baby. <gasps> Eat this. And then you know that bridge over the freeway? Yeah? Shit off it. Look, the point is, Luna is a valued member of our family, and we don't get rid of family. We aren't a family, sir. You are the boss. We are the employees. You treat her like she's some troubled teenager. She's more like a meth-addicted homeless woman you let man the phones. That is offensive. Without homeless people, I wouldn't have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. While we are on the subject of family, can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie, it's not that big a deal. Excuse me. What? Honey, can you get me the butter? Sir, sweetie. Spoiler alert, the butter's spoiled. <laughs> What's funny, honey? Really impressive wordplay. What the? Why are you in our fridge? What you dreaming about? I was dreaming my parents were being murdered. But now, I'd like to go back to that. Of all the ifs in hell, it's for him it that I fell. Oh, Millie. Are you fucking filming us right now? Just stop doing that. I don't see what the issue is. Is there something you don't want me seeing? No. You a baby wiener haver? Sir, what you say and how you act is totally inappropriate! Calm down, Mox. You're gonna have another panic attack! I am calm! They're there. Look, I don't judge the boring couple stuff you do outside of work hours, so don't judge me. Oh, I do judge you, sir. Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss! No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just, how do I say this without being offensive, retarded. Does immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad, single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not, you bitch! Do not talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. Yes, I am! You guys are all fucking assholes. Oh, shut up, kid. You're lucky to witness this. Ugh, this company is such a mess. All right, let's get back to talking about my outfit. Nobody was talking about that. Which is why I'm trying to get that ball rolling. So how does it look? It's good, right? It's been a literal hell having to pretend to be paralyzed so you fuck shits wouldn't kill me. But now I want that. I want death. You are a selfish, greedy clown. And I'm a kid. We're supposed to like clowns. Even the creepy ones. Hey now, that's not very. If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. That's my husband you're talking to. <laughs> that's your husband? I figured you for a slut, but I didn't know you needed dick that bad. And you. What? What about me? Nothing. I don't talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. Wow. Oh, you know, kid, you kind of are a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah Captain Reed. I... He is good. Oh, fuck. Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. Who? Him. Me? Yep. They wanted us to kill an actual child. That's what they're saying. Well, Christ on a stick. I guess there is a god. <laughs> you know, folks, with this company, I really wanted to prove that we're capable of doing the same things anyone else can. Like killing people. So from us here at the Immediate Murder Professionals Group, we promise to settle your unfinished business or your money is gone and you're never getting it back and you can write us a bad review, but we'll play dumb to it because it's hell and no one fucking cares. You know, even though this kid was a target, he's still a child. It's important that we handle this going forward respectfully. 
Please! If anyone has seen my little Eddie, please contact us and fall! You're welcome! I was a good person before it all went down. I was good my entire life. Good morning! I hope you all did your homework. We love to do our homework, and we love our teacher too. Then when I throw out these fun questions, you should know just what to do. Okay! Two plus six is eight. And good behavior is eight. And it's now that part of the class when we say the time of day and date. It's nine in the morning on January 8th. The sun is out smiling. And it's your husband's birthday. La 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 Oh, my stars? Stop singing, children. Hush up now. I forgot it's my husband's birthday. I didn't get him anything special. Maybe if we call him, we could do a happy birthday surprise. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right, right there. I told you, we're not going to use these. Right there. Ah! Oh, yeah. That's right actually right my right asshole. There. But I don't care. Not there. Not there. Yeah. Not there. Not there. Not there. <laughs> okay. Yeah? Wait. This is me, Barry. Remember what you taught us? Think before you act. <laughs> you all. I'm so sorry, my children. Don't forget to work on your time table. <laughs> you do everything right in life. Play by all the rules. And still get sent down here with all the Hitlers and Epsteins of the world after one measly massacre propelled by blind rage. So that's why I'm here. To get my revenge. I mean, was she hotter? I'm just saying, I had a hard time understanding the unprompted melodrama you just spat at me, tits. Anyway, I don't think you quite understand how we're operating down here. See, we take revenge out on the living, and it sounds like the core cast of your sitcom of a death, frankly, are all probably down here in hell with you. Not all of them. That whore survived. Now they all call her a hero. How does it feel to have survived such a crazy bitch? I just hope that sick woman finally found peace. You are so brave. Here's two million dollars. Oh! You. Between the talk shows and donation bullshit, she made so much goddamn cash. Getting shot was the best thing to happen to her. You're a hero. You're a hero, girl. My mama's a hero. She is a hero. <laughs> You're a hero. You're a hero. You're a hero. Oh, oh, oh! You're a hero. She is not a hero. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Moxie, stop shaking! You're gonna shoot our only hail ham. Wow, I feel so loved here. Just take a deep breath and let it out. But it's a family. Under what circumstances would we ever need to kill a human family? I mean, if that's what the client wants. Maybe like a shitty dad or a mob family. That's understandable. But to eradicate an entire innocent, seemingly in this instance, upper middle class family bloodline? Hey, you don't know they're innocent. This kid probably sets dogs on fire. Maybe this girl gets off to bullying Australian kids online. And this guy, this guy definitely watches. Exactly. Humans are full of secret nasties. It's why so many of them end up here. But guilty and innocent aren't our business, Mox. Killing who we're paid to is our business. Shoot the target. I just think it's a bit excessive, and we could be a bit more selective, is all. Guys, I want you to meet you. <laughs> Our newest client. Damn it, Moxie, I just bought those eels. 
Bye, and don't worry, we'll get that skank in less than 24 hours or your first kill is free! When did we start implementing that deal? When you set fire to my office in front of a client, you fucking dick shit! Now someone please tell me that fancy book is still intact! You mean, our only ticket to the other side? Yeah, got it. And that's why you're my favorite, Looney. You get a tweet now. Ew, stop. Uh, oh. You're so gross. Aw, oh, stop it. I get enough of that from my therapist. Now let's go lick some ass. The expression is kick some ass. Blitz. Mine's better. Oh, fuck. That's gotta be her. <laughs> this is too easy. Moxie, do you want this one? Me? Yeah, this one's simple enough for you to handle. It's just a happy mother who just got out of the hospital. Snooze you lose, Mox. And I got you, bitch. Wait, are we actually killing a family? No, don't be a puss. We're just killing a mother. We're ruining a family. But, hold on, hold on. Let's just think about this. <laughs> what was that, Ralphie? I don't know, Martha. But whatever it is, they're gonna be tomorrow night's dinner. Kids, guns out! Looks like we got some rabbits to catch, youngins. <laughs> what the fuck was that, Moxie? <laughs> I'm sorry. They just seem so wholesome and happy. <laughs> I panicked. Oh, who the fuck is innocent, Moxie? From the moment of birth, you're already a parasite leeching off your mama's tits. Get the fuck over yourself, you baby dick prick! <laughs> a new hole! Scatter! <laughs> Y'all can't hide long from me! Isn't it a bad time, Blitzy? What is it? I've been meaning to follow up on our last little conversation regarding my grimoire. What did you just call me? My book, Blitzy. The book I was given to do my job that I have allowed you to use to do yours. I can hear you, darling. Shit. Anywho, I have been thinking. You know, I have been permitting you to access the mortal realm less than legally for some time now, but I do need it back to fulfill my duties. I was thinking, what if we worked out some kind of exchange? Favors for favors. Doesn't that sound enticing? You gotta stop using your fancy ass rich people talk, okay? I'm trying to concentrate on not getting fucked in my A! Then let me keep it simple. Once a month, on the full moon, you return the book to me, followed by a night of passionate fornication. And you get to keep it all the rest of the time, hmm? Sound fair, my little imp? Fine, whatever! Oh, Blitz, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to feel your slimy c inside of my little <laughs> Gotcha! So you're a little devil, oh, huh? Come to drag me and my kin to hell. Well, not today, Satan! Gonna send y'all back where you came from! Billy! I had that fucking. 
fucking shot. God damn it, Moxie. Satan, we return your filthy creatures back to the pits of hell. May the root of evil remain honored as we continue thy work. <laughs> Not exactly how it works, lady. Sorry, your fire doesn't really hurt us, but I mean, I could fake it if that'll get your dick hard. Oh, shit. Well, I'll just shoot you in your smart ass mouth. That would be more effective. Blitz! <laughs> Moxie! You're not getting your goddamn paycheck for this one, Box. Oh yeah, thanks. I'm fine. I'm sorry, sir. I compromised our objective and put us in harm's way. It won't happen again. I promise. Apology accepted. But if you ever pull a stunt like this again, I will fuck you and your wife. All righty, job well done. Now let's get off. Uh, yeah, give me a moment. I need to get something I left at the house. Okay, fine, but hurry up. Luna, we're ready to come home, dear. While you and I are jelly sandwiches all night. Don't move. What are you gonna do, little guy? Kill us? I should. You people are monsters. But you should have a chance at a life and a purpose. Look at your children. They have their whole future ahead of them. You are going to face your crimes justly. I will call your earthly authorities, and they will make sure you are dealt with fairly. I'm handling this my way. Oh, shit. Uh, do you, uh, do you have a phone to summon 911? Yeah, it's in the kitchen. Then, what is this for? It's a universal remote. Got it for the kids. Ah. There he is. Have a good wank-off session, Moxie. Excuse me? Look, I don't care where you come in the living world. Just come to your job on time, all right? See you at the office. You doing okay, sweetie? Better now, honey. I think I just needed a minute to process. You have a good heart, honey. Just a fuzzy head. We got it, boys! to another mission accomplished, and Moxie finally learned not to fuck up. And killing people isn't that big a deal if they try to kill you back. That's messed up. But I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that family. Mommy, Daddy! Mm, Olivia's calling us, Stella. <sighs> He gets up. <sighs> Thea, what troubles you, my owlet? Daddy! Daddy! I had a dream. A really bad dream. <sighs> a nightmare. I was looking all over the palace, and I couldn't find you anywhere. You weren't there. There, there, Thea. It's okay. You're okay. When you're scared, and you don't know where I am, you must remember, no matter what happens to me, I will never be far away from my special little starfire. It always seems more quiet in the dark. It always feels so stark. How silence grows under the moon. Constellations gone so soon I used to think that I was bold I used to think love would be fun Now all my stories have been told Except for one As the stars start to align Yes. 
seven rings collapse although the day could be my last you will be okay when I'm gone you'll be okay and when creation goes to is burning down around me You want to fuck this one too? No, of course not You are a goddamn embarrassment I'm not spending another moment looking at your pathetic imp-sucking face Octavia, did you sleep well, my owlette? Is that a serious question? Mm hmm What's that you're listening to? This song is called My World Is Burning Down Around Me. It's by Fuck You, Dad. It's a band. Oh, how charming. So are you two done screaming for the day? Um. You know what I haven't done in a long, long time? I haven't taken you to your favourite place in all of hell. Why don't we go to Lululand? I'm not five anymore. You always were so happy when I took you to Lululand. What do you say we go there again? Have a day. Just the two of us. I'd rather kill myself. There we go. Anything but staying in this house. Now, I'll arrange our security. Security for a theme park? We're rich and we're hot. People want our money and our bodies. Our oh, money, maybe. Speak for yourself, princess. Now, I'm calling the only man who can f*** me. What? Who can protect me? Us. Being part of the Goetia family is rather valuable, you know. <laughs> oh, Blitz, you're such a good boss. Yeah, I really want you, sir. Me too. Let's three-way. <laughs> what? Why, hello, my big dick, Blitzy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Dad! Language, everyone. I have a special request. Oh, look, I just had a chemical peel, so you'll have to find someone else's face to plant that feathered ass. It's for my daughter. Ah, well, make sure she washes it. No, 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 no. I'm taking my daughter to Lululand, and I was hoping you brave little imps would accompany us. We're assassins, not bodyguards, okay? Don't invite us to shit unless someone's gonna die. I'll pay you. Pay me what? Money. Done! <laughs> Eminem, get in here! We're going to Lululand! Lululand? Lululand! Lululand! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> now remember, this is work and work only. Me and my crew are not here to satisfy your perverted bird needs, all right? Hey, Dad, do we have to- Okay, yeah, hold on right there, sweetie. If you try fucking my little ass in that park, I swear to you, you are so cute when you are serious. I'm literally gonna be sick. Oh, crumbs, I knew today would be a lot. What do you need? Antacids, ibuprofen, morphine? That was figurative, old man. Oh, right. <laughs> but she said it was literal. Wow, I haven't been to this place since I was a child. It hasn't changed a bit. Oh! Look! It's big, lovely! Ah! That is deeply upsetting. Oh, come on! It's fun! You've never been here? No. Theme parks always disturb me. Especially the mascots. Well, hey there! Ah! I'm Lulu! Welcome to Lululand! If y'all get hurt here, just try and sue us. <gasps> Look! Here! 
It's Lulu. I have a question. Well, ask away, little girly. <laughs> is it true this park is just a really shameless spin-off of Lucifer's far more popular Lulu world? No. This place reeks of insecure corporate shame. <laughs> Why don't we go check out the rides? That chick's creepy, huh? Yeah, wait till her dad tries to diddle your holes. What's that mean? Don't talk to me. I know you're a pervert under there. Yeah. You really like this place, huh? I love this place! My parents would bring me and my siblings here when they could swing it. Money-wise. Yeah. The prices do seem rather criminal. I mean... That much for a novelty cup that you use one time? Cause it's Lulu Land! Listen to your hoe, Mox. Habit, I take the first watch while you two have a little fun. Oh! We gotta do my favorite ride! Oh yeah? Which, which one? Oh, crumbs! <laughs> It's quite thrilling to see you on the job, Blitzy. Save it, bitch, I'm working. You both need to get a room. Hey, I am not a day hooker. What, I just said I'm not one, prude. <gasps> oh, look, Via! You used to cry such tears of joy at this show. Oh, I hate, hate that, that fucking, fucking clown. clown. Oh, Blitzy! I need my bodyguard, please! Hey, 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 yeah, Implings! It's me, the robotic Fizzerali! Shipped from Big Ozzy's factory to bring you a wonderful show celebrating Lulu Land's spell with O's to avoid lawsuits. Get it? I can handle. Okay, one game, please. Ow, strike one, little man. But I hit it. Mm, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. The target, see? It didn't go down. So yeah, no go, bro. <sighs> What's wrong with this thing? Oh man, a real shame, I tell you. <laughs> Another! I sing along with the Lulu band, every boy, every girl, every woman, every man loves Lulu. Lulu. <laughs> 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 How delightful. <sighs> oh, my, what good aim you have, Blitzy. Oh, I can't do this anymore. Octavia! <laughs> oh, is that lit so my sensor spot a bear? I guess the kitties are still running away from you. Uh huh? <laughs> oh, it's silent now. Uh -huh. Just like your audience always was when you told, told your lazy jokes here. <laughs> Bitch, I make more money killing people than you do being a cheap ass robo ripoff of an overrated sellout jester! <laughs> Someone's salty. Real or not, though, people love me. Does anybody love you? No, but I'm really good with guns now. Dance, bitch! Or <laughs> 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 I say, I say, get your inconvenient torch 
Joker's here! Ow! I say ow! <laughs> wow! Man, you're really starting to make this sad. You know, if you suck, you suck. Guess you won't win your hottie here a prize. Let me try. Oh, look at that. Lucky shot, baby. Are you kidding me? You, you, you charlatan. Hey, uh, get lost, Pipsqueak. I'm talking to the lady. Sir? Oh, hey, guys. Probably go uh, make sure Stolas is okay. I've got some unfinished business to take care of. Oh, what a mouth! <laughs> God damn it, Nathan! You ruined another bloody photo! Why were you even born? Octavia? Just leave me alone! Octavia! Um, I think I'm supposed to be bodyguarded right now. Oh, that's better. Where is Blitzy? He's my knight in shining armor, not you littler ones. He's a... busy being a fool. What kind of fool? The everything is now on fire kind. Octavia, I take it you are not having fun. I didn't even want to come here. I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I thought you loved it here. When I was a kid and my parents didn't hate each other, my dad didn't flirt with a weird red dickhead the entire time. I'm sorry, Via. I'm sorry for everything happening right now. I know it's a lot. I, uh, I should have listened. I just want to go home. But home doesn't even feel like home anymore. You ruined it. You need to understand, your mother and I, I just, I felt she's always been, I haven't been, ha, we weren't in, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't have the words. Are you going to run off with him and leave me behind? Go away where I can't find you? What? No. No, no, never. I'd never do that. Never. I think it's time to leave this place. You were right. You are too old for it anyway. <laughs> so, what would you like to do now? Oh, can we go to Stylish Accolds? They sell weird taxidermy there. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. You're okay sometimes. Thank you, Via. Thank you. Ah! Way to ruin another good thing, sir. Worth it. That slutty toy clown had it coming. <laughs>
So your sister says hi. Why are you parking here? This is the only parking spot my company has, so take your tampon race car somewhere else. Actually, prick, it has my name on it. I'm doing a bit of freelance for one of the infinitely more successful companies in the building. No way. And they wanted way. to have me come in this week to lead their team during spring break. A week? Uh, no, no, you are not parking here for a fucking week. Aw, you mad blitzo. You gonna run off, leaving someone else to pay for the hotel room, steal their car and run, run three, three rings, rings to rap, rap and max, max my credit, credit cards card on, on shitty horse, horse riding, riding lessons? lessons? God damn it, whore, you will not let that go. Choke on a sandpaper cock. Hold on! You better move that pussy wagon right now, or I'm gonna... You'll what? Or I'll, um, uh, I'll, I'll call HR. <laughs> anyway, meet my new hellhound, Vortex. Unlike you, he actually does his job well. Ta-ta, Foxstain. Ugh, I wasted so much time with a bag of holes like that. You know Verasica Mayday? Huh? Oh, yeah, her. Yeah, we dated. Was it before or after she became a pop star? You dated a pop star! Okay, why are you all acting like that's such a shock? Hello, it's Verasica Mayday. It's you? I just... Is she blind? Suffering some form of brain damage. Okay, look, you are all making this into a way bigger deal than it needs to be. I don't pry into your stupid personal lives. You do that! I totally do that. Time, yeah. sir. What was sex with her like? Billy! What? It's a pop star! You'd want to know what sex with Michael Crawford was like. Touché. Okay, look, let's just drop it. Millie, just find a temporary spot for that truck. Okay, Looney, Moxie, let's go handle this shit. Do you think they saw me? Fuck, I did my makeup shitty today. Oh, you look perfect, Looney. Like always. Shut up, Jack! Oh, blitz! Ah! Oh. oh. Whoa. Hi, big man. Where's your bitch bag of an employer? She's in her office. There wasn't room on the sucky floor, so they rented one here on this one. Cheaper. Oh, come on! <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, no, you don't, bitch. Sir, how about you let me go in and try to reason with her? I don't really listen to what's classified as pop genre music, so her status to me is name recognition alone, in my opinion. Riveted. Foxy, of... shut the fuck up. Alrighty then. Hello, Miss Verasica, was it? I work for Imp and it is actually rather important for us to retain the singular parking space we were assigned because... Aw, look at the little one. He's got a widow bow tie. Please don't condescend me, ma'am. I... Wanna kiss you, little guy? A kind offer, but I'm married. Hey, why don't you send a little message from me back to your limp dick boss? <laughs> don't touch that! Foxy, don't let her access any of your holes! I, I gotta go lie down now. Oh, this won't stand! <laughs> All right, that's it! If you're gonna be shitty to my employees, then I challenge you to a fucking challenge. Fuck, I said that twice. Mmm, is this imp boy starting a demon duel? I think he is. What's the game then, Blitzo? Every year, you STD spreaders go up topside for easy pickings, while spring break is a prime time for crime of all kinds. So I bet you suck, you bitches, can't fuck as many people as we can off by the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're serious. Game on, bitch. All right, shut your assholes. Here's how we're gonna do this shit. First, we find a fuck ton of clients. We portal up. We have our fun murder time as per usual. We pile all the bodies into a big fucking canoe. We push said canoe into some water. We light it on fire to attract the sharks and eagles and shit. Maybe a goose too. Fuck it. They come and eat the bodies. We win the bet. We rub it in that sloppy bitch's drunken whore ass face. Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah. Why was that nonsense? That wasn't a question. That wasn't a plan. I'm sorry, but that was a flawless presentation of what we should do, Mox. It's not my fault you got a smooth little brain upstairs. A what now? I'm calling you slow, Moxie. God, why don't you learn to take criticism, you talentless baby dicked troll? Well, why don't you take an art class? Why don't you see how expensive they are? Hey, is there a way I can come with you guys this time? Absolutely not. I forbid it. Not gonna happen. Sorry, sweetie. Spring break is no place for young, vulnerable goth girls. You know the kind of 
freaks up there who drool all over you. Well, I can blend in with humans easy enough. Just let me tag along. Wait, say that again. I can blend in? Do you have a human disguise? Yeah, don't you? You three have been screwing around on Earth this whole fucking time without human disguises? Okay, new plan. Mooney can help lure the humans to us, and we'll take care of the rest. Okay, how about that? Flawless logic. I think you're missing the biggest issue, sir. Isn't it crucial to have a client who demands enough kills to win this bet? We aren't just going up to massacre. I got that covered, Mox. Now we wait. Sir, there is no way we are going to get enough clients by the end of the day with one poorly spelled bad grammar flyer. <laughs> now, who's first? Now remember, we can't be seen, all right? And loose shots will likely cause a panic, so Luna can help with leading targets to a better spot to off them. You got the list, Looney. <laughs> got it. Oh, Looney, look at you. You look downright awful. I am so proud. Now fetch! I'd like to see that Willy snatch orgasm that many. All right, spring breakers. Y'all ready to get fucked up and make some bitches bad choices? Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, this is your final boarding call. All aboard. started her goatish mating call. Now she's gonna win all these sex maniacs. We gotta pick things up, guys. See you on the list, Looney? Huh? Yeah, I, I think so. Good! Oh, whoa, what are you? A leprechaun? <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, huh? But you sure shit ain't gonna tell nobody. All right, next one, Looney, come on. Looney, wait, where, 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 where's my baby? Look. You're the hound working for my boss's freaky ex. Yeah, <laughs> sorry if that's weird. It's cool, her beef ain't mine. I'm not paid enough to care. Yeah, yeah, I'm Luna. <laughs> okay. Hey, <I'm> Vortex! <laughs> that's hot. I mean, like, literally, you know, because Vortex is, you know, they give off heat. Probably, <laughs> right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> but my friends call me Tex. Oh yeah? I wish I had friends. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, I don't, I, 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 I don't have friends. Am I interrupting something? Nah, man, just having a conversation. Conversation leads to HPV. And we've lost him. <sighs> it's looking like it's up to us to handle this list. Hell yeah. Team Eminem and getting shit done, making the money. Let's get the fuck out of here. You're gonna get us all into shit. 
I just wanted to see what was so important that you'd be distracted from your job. What, I can't have a break? We have a parking spot on the line. Hey, dude, why don't you chill out? Why don't you stay out of it? Okay, this is our business. Literally. Oh, fuck, Blitz. Why can't you stay out of my face for like five minutes? Because I adopted you. And that should mean something. Oh, what does it matter? You're not my real dad. I was almost 18. It still counts. Well, it shouldn't. I didn't need you then, asshole. I don't now. Enjoy your break, Looney. I'm gonna go kill something. Uh. Damn, girl, that was savage. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. He'll get over it. He always does. <laughs> I'm glad you can stick up for yourself at least. Mm, takes guts. Thanks. did you get four heads? I want to kiss him. totally pegs you, doesn't she? <laughs> oh, yeah! Way to show off, Mills! Is Mox okay? Oh, yeah. He's fine. <laughs> this is funny. And so... <laughs> okay, this is too wholesome for my liking. Blitzo. Oh, perfect! That must be the whores. That was handled rather obvious, don't you think? I don't think this belonged to any of us. Would be a shame if anyone found out you guys were behind a giant monster fish in the human world. <laughs> oh, Satan! <laughs> You've all been so fucked! <laughs> yeah, well, you three nasty ass gremlins will be in shit for not being in disguises. A human called me a possum. I am not a possum! You know, we could keep this little B-movie scene on the down low if you agree to let us use that parking space. Fine. We fucking won! <laughs> Fuck yeah! In your face, bitch! Come on, let's get out of here. Tex! Well, guess it's time to bounce. But hey, if you're ever down to party, I'll give you a ring sometime. Really? I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, my girlfriend throws a ton of crazy hound parties. Nice. 
Can't wait for my first one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you some friends, girl. Come on, Looney Tooney. Let's go back and park our fat fucking car in our fat fucking space. Put your hands up, you sick deviants! All right, sluts. Get ready to suck a lot of pig dick. Uh. Well, howdy, I'm Cletus. Welcome to heaven. Guess you did something good to get here, and good people deserve to give loved ones special blessings. Does it make you want to cry? When your loved one has to die. Does it hurt you through and through? When your face is turning blue. Luckily for you, there's something we can do. We can help keep them alive. So, so you can watch them thrive. Cause here at THD, are you beat? We'll save your honey buff from dying. Bye. Cause here at THD, are you beat? No, we never even ask a bee. Because good people spread the love. And we're here for all of us. And we'll keep it work for you. And the heavy lifting too. So sit right back and let us bless our soul for you. Oh, we are the CHRUP. Last one, B. Give me another, Mox. Eh, no, not feeling it. Next! Uh-huh, keep going, keep going, keep going. I say, I say, are you looking to get work making crazy contraptions and goofy gadgets? Well, call me at Wacky Wally Watford's Wacky Idea Factory, where you make the things and I make the money. Please, I'm very desperate. Bingo! Woo! You're on a roll, sir! Guys, do you feel that? Oh shit, is that a hell shake? That's possible. All right, don't panic, Moxie. I'm not panicking because hell quakes don't happen. Stop getting hysterical, fatty. Do not be afraid. And please tell me you got that insurance thing. Who are you and what do you want? I am Loopy Goopy, dastardly inventor of all things Loopy and Loopy. Could have just used the door, dude. Doesn't need to be this whole thing. I am eccentric and must therefore do eccentric shit. Oh, this old fuck reeks of the living world. Did you just die? Yes, moments ago, in fact, which is what brought me here. Just saying, the front door would have gotten you here fine. Shut up, dear furry. This is the man I'm gonna need you to kill. Not even a shit's length of time in hell and already plotting revenge. I can respect a man with that sort of passion. I'm Blitz, the O is silent. What, oh? Oh, thank you. Now, what's the tea, sis? The tea? Guys, help! Yeah, why are we killing this guy? I mean, what did he do to you? Housing! He was my business partner. You see, I was not always an old man. My partner, Lyle, and I ran Lyle Loopy Robotics, a technological empire. Earlier today, we were testing a new machine intended to stop or reverse the aging process. That could have saved all three trillionaires. Unfortunately, we neglected to test the machine on the poor, like we usually do. We were too sure of our own genius, but the machine was accidentally set forward. By the time we managed to get out, it was too late. At least for me. Now that evil son of a bitch is going to take over the empire we built together. Without me to share it with, he'll make all the goddamn money in the world and become the fourth trillionaire and get all the credit. Yeah, that's not really evil. It's evil towards me. Everything is going dark. Now get your crimson asses up above and send that heartless, no good son of a bitch to hell where he belongs. Y y you do know, Poopty. Loopty. Of course, of course. If we do kill him, though, and he ends up down here, you know, you will be stuck with him forever. Oh, trust me. I'm counting on it. That's kind of hot. Gee, I wonder whose house this is. And to your right is the home of famous inventor Lyle Lipton. Ooh. <laughs> Let's do it, gang. Let's kill this rich guy. And here you'll find three 
tacky stalkers about to attempt a murder. Things like this can happen to famous people all the time. Wow, that machine really did a number on him. Goodbye, my one true love. All the riches of the world can't fill the emptiness I'm feeling now that my shitty old body can't do anything of value. Oh, fantastic. He's going to do our job for us. Should we go in there and tie it for him? I'm being haunted by ugly orphan children now. Who the fuck are they? Oh, no. Sir, those are cherubs, Mr. Lyle. I hate filthy, stinking orphan children. We're here to convince you not to kill yourself, sir. To grant you a blessing on behalf of those in heaven benefited by your amazing technological advances. Oh, hell no! Don't listen to me. Lyle Lipton, it is our... Humble opinion that you should continue the process to commit die. I mean, what do you expect to do with all this money now you're old and gross? Is that a serious question? He can help spread his wealth around with the people of the world and do so much good with it and be so fulfilled. Uh, no. He could pay for new hospitals and schools. Why won't you let me die? Oh, sounds like you need help off in yourself there, buddy. Moxie, what do we got for this fella? I have some assault weapons, crossbow, hunting bow, tommy gun, old-fashioned shotgun, revolvers in three colors, chainsaws, katanas. He's classier than that. There are still plenty of reasons to live, Mr. Lyle. Yeah, right. Smells like he ain't been out of bed in months. Love can be beautiful at any age. And we'll show him! Yeah! yeah. No! Look around, Lyle. God's gift of nature is a wonder to behold, regardless of age or wealth. If you were to end your life, you'd be missing all of this. Mm -hmm. You're gonna buy that load of shit from a baby and the sheep it fucks? <gasps> that is so inappropriate! Oh, kiss our ass, prude! Anyway, take it from me, a fellow genius. Nature is no picnic up close. Oh, no! I can't stop! I've never wanted to die more than I do now! for childhood wonderment. Why, look at those sweet disease-ridden vermin. Their joy comes from innocence unspoiled by the burdens of adulthood and their middle-class existence. Such simple joy they have. It is inspiring. Thank you for showing me this. Hey, dipshit! Want to see whose lap you're sitting on? <laughs> This place reeks of teenagers. Lovers, look out, sir. We're here to remind you about possibly life's greatest joy of all. Money. No, love. I've never been in love before. I imagine it's quite nice. It's not too late, sir. You can still find. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> nice try, ugly. Hey, horny lovers, which one of you would fuck this old man? You know, you three are so utterly c cruel. We're just trying to give hope to someone in need. Oh, and you three are so superior to us just because we want some selfish, greedy, authoritarian capitalist to keel over dead. You're making things too real now, Moxie. <laughs> Entertain and live for. So, how do we make this bad? We can't. There's literally nothing bad about opera. That's fact. Unless we ruin it somehow. 
He's not very good. <laughs> We made it bad. That's it! I have had it! You three monsters have messed with us enough! Uh, we're just trying to do our job. Well, so are we. Enough! We are saving that shitty old man's life, whether he wants it or not! Well, someone wants that fucker dead, okay? And he paid in advance, and I spent it all on this. So he's gotta go! You are all such disgusting, loathsome beasts! Your kind is nothing but dirt that shitty dead people tread on! And now, you're trying to meddle with the lives of humans?! So are you! So why don't you shut your trap, you judgmental, cotton candy, tit having bitch! Filthy demon! <laughs> to make sense now. Life is worth living because we only get one. We must cherish it. If creatures far beyond this living world are going through these lengths over my life, then certainly it's worth living. Killing myself is not the answer. Plus, I'm still rich. I could just buy all the things. I no longer crave death. <laughs> job for us. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my god. Get a hold of yourself, Colin, and do not use the Lord's name in vain. This is it over. <laughs> what the? Mm, yeah, no sorry, Cletus, but I'm afraid your actions resulted in the death of a human. I'm afraid you can't re-enter heaven. Yeah, no. What? <laughs> Yeah, mmm, sorry. Yeah, no. Is there anything we can do? Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but we didn't mean to. We never. It was all. Anyway, sorry, guys. But those are the rules. Yeah. Bye. Wait. But. <laughs> Well, the old man wanted to live again, and we didn't kill him, so we failed. Thanks to those fucking cherubs, he's probably up in heaven now, so it's a shame. All our client wanted was eternal revenge on his business partner, and now the two are forever separated, and now we gotta face the fire of fucking up. Sir, when are you going to tell the client? Oh, I already sent him a text, and we're in good hands, because texts don't make people angry. <laughs> We can explain everything. I was... Lyle well, Lipton? I don't understand. We thought you went to heaven. Heaven? You don't make millions in technological advances and robotics by not experimenting on the poor. <laughs> oh, you no good, heartless son of a bitch. Thank you for reuniting me with my best friend. The only question now is what do two old genius robotic inventors do now that we're in hell? Did someone say I say inventors? Name's Wally Wackford, and I am looking for creative new people to exploit. I mean, implore. Everyone, stop fucking up my walls. Moxie's gonna have to fix all this shit. <laughs>
Ah, chill out, Moxie. If you kiss my ass any harder, you'll go right inside me. Satan's balls. First we deal with heaven's table scraps, now this. I guess you can say you say you have a holy operation here, Blitzo. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> I say ho! Oh. No, I'm serious. Get the fuck out! Oh. I'm sorry for having to move our little rendezvous early. I have an engagement this month on the full moon. When this happens, it's not really something I fuss about. But do you really need the book for this farm bullshit? I have like 15 new clients waiting for heads to roll. As shocking as it may seem, Blitzy, my grimoire is actually incredibly important. And it isn't supposed to be lent out to itty bitty ints like yourself. Oh. The Harvest Moon is a very special occasion. It's been my annual duty to showcase it in the Ring of Wrath. It's celebrated by a very charming little festival with the locals. Wrath, huh? My employees are from there. I've never really been. I hear it's full of inbred chuckle fucks. Oh, why don't you all join me at the festival? I can guarantee you all special access. <laughs> Look, I told you, we're not bodyguards, okay? That was a one-time thing we did badly. I'm simply offering a work-free day of fun. I feel quite safe at the Harvest Festival. It's the same every year. Well, if you promise this isn't some fuckfest invite, it does sound like it could be a blast and a half. Plus, it's not like we can do jack shit without your book anyway. Oh, I'm sorry your clients will have to wait. Oh, fuck my clients. What do you want, sir? Hey, hope I didn't wake you, Mox. How would you and Mills want to visit the Wrath Ring for some Harvest bullshit this year? The Harvest Moon Festival? Yee fucking all! <sighs> well, Millie likes the idea. Wait, where are you calling from? Mm hmm. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Mama! Daddy! yee How's my deadly little pumpkin spice doing? I'm good, Pa. Thanks for letting us stay here for the Harvest Jamboree. It's no trouble. We know you aren't making as much anymore since y'all went freelance. Freelance pays fine, Ma. We're doing fine. It's fine. Anyway, y'all remember my husband, Moxie. <laughs> Greetings, Lynn. Joe? How have you been now uh, with all the flaming twisters and stuff around here? We lost our old farmhand to one of them terrors last week. <laughs> oh, oh, crumbs. My bad. <laughs> I am so sorry. I didn't mean to open that wound, sir. Hey, watch it. I'm the sir here, bucko. Oh, yeah. Y'all haven't met my boss, Blitz, and his hellhound. I'm not just his hellhound. Yeah, she's my daughter. Only on paper. Y'all don't deserve to know my name. It's a pleasure to finally meet the sperm and egg factory that popped out this little gem of an assassin. You two raised a sturdy bitch. <laughs> that we did. So, Blitz is it? <laughs> That's a fine name. It reminds me of war. Uh, nothing like a little war to make a strong man. I like you people. You know, more battles were won by technological advances in warfare. I've researched the history of weaponry extensively, and it's inspiring how, for example, the progression of guns utilizing angelic technology has changed the landscape of Hell's combative... I mean... War fun! Guns get the job done, but a man ain't nothing if he can't tear the head off a hellish beast with only his bare hands. <laughs> ha! He's right, Moxie! You got cute little baby hands like your baby did. Refrain. Sir. Speaking of strong hands, y'all should meet our newest help. Hey, Striker! Well, howdy. Oh, looky here. You must be the famous Mildred. Heard some good things about you from your folks, little lady. Oh. <laughs> what are y'all doing so far away from Imp City? Huh. The free work and finally slowing down? Oh no, freelance isn't free, it's a... Never mind. 
We're just visiting for the festival. The prince is our boss's boyfriend. Millie, I am not above hitting a female in front of her daddy. Boss, huh? Oh, so you're the bold imp that started his own killing biz. Yeah, well, when you're good at something, you should probably capitalize. Not many imps start businesses on their own. That's pretty impressive, sir. Oh, yeah, it is. I, I guess... I guess it is, isn't it? So you even conned that ditzy blue blood into getting you to the surface? Well, it's long and complicated, but the short answer is yes. But he's not like, you know, we're, we're not like, we're not doing a, we, what's between, it's a transactional fucking, you see. You know, you boys should enter the pain games. I heard games, what games? I'm in. Every harvest festival, there's a competition to be the roughest, toughest bastard in wrath. Yeah. Wish I could play. Millie, you know you get too carried away. The last competition ended in 15 separate funerals. I'm aware, but I only caused nine of them. How come Sally Mae still gets to compete? Your sister doesn't have a neighborhood head count. She so does. It doesn't count if they don't find the body. Still, you get to root for her and your brothers, and now you can cheer on your boss. You know, she can also cheer for me. <laughs> Wait, you? Yeah, I could compete, can't I? <laughs> Sorry, boy, but I don't think sensitive thespian types would last very long in the games. I was born here, too. I have some fat in me. Huh. Well, then, little fella, won't you help me wrangle one of them hogs for dinner? Simple. Watch me. Nah, with these. Bullets can't pierce a shell. You gotta get the knife underneath and pry yourself an opening. Oh, right, right. I knew that. Now, just remember, your rep with the in-laws is on the line here. So no pressure at all. You totally will not make an ass of yourself in front of everyone important in your life. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> oh. Mox, you don't need to do this. Oh, he totally does. Take it ass, Moxie! Yeah! Fucking beautiful. Doing great, Moxie! Send me that video later. Ow! My clavicle! Don't worry, little one. You never stood a chance. Hey, boss man! You wanna help the men skin this thing for dinner? Oh, I am always down to skin the manly meat with the manly man. That's what she said. What who said? Wait, what bitch is talking shit about me? <sighs> don't let him get to you. And hey, you don't need my parents to respect you. They will eventually. No, they won't. What? I'm right, ain't I? Oh, I'm entering those games. <sighs> Piss would you be if I bet on him dying? Welcome, I say you welcome all to wrap the rings up and you will harvest moon a festival. To kick things off, we have the great Prince Olas here to usher in this here pain game. <laughs> How kind, Quackfoot. Greetings, tiny wrath ring imps. I hereby welcome you all to another year of celebrating the spoils of your labor that continue to feed the citizens of hell. I'm happy to kick off the start of these games that will challenge the toughest imps to show their skill and dominance. Good luck to you all! Especially that sexy little one there. Yoo-hoo, Blitzy! Ah, oh, fuck me. Motherfucker! Stay safe for the first year ever! 
right, fucking dick? All right, so he has the physical advantage. I'm better at other things, like singing. I'd like to take this opportunity to sing a quick song I wrote just now about me winning. Oh, what the fuck? Sweet the day, I smell the smell. From a stick in heaven to the rugged rocks of hell. Sweet victory with everything I do. With every talent, I'm so much more talented than you. Isn't this guy great? Pulse! It's gonna be nice working with him. Working? What? Yeah! I asked him if he wants to join IMP. You asked? But. Max, I think you've had enough for now. Let's head back to the house and get you clean. Mopsy, go fuck yourself. Did you hear something? It was just the wind. Thank you. You took that. Troubling. Oh my crumbles! Genuine carmine crafted blessing tipped rifle. How? How in the fuck did he get one of these? Why don't you ask me, little dude? Shit! Well, why do you have this, Mister? You are aware this kind of weapon can kill. Demon royalty. Yes, that. No shit. That's kind of the point. Okay, while I, I'm, I'm relatively concerned by your possession of this, I'm also glad my instant dislike of you has been validated. I'd kill y'all, but I feel like there's more leverage with your rodeo clown of a boss if I don't. Plus, you little things ain't worth the cleanup. Yeah. Millie! Oh, Satan! Moxie, I'm fine. I got worse than this during the flower toss at my brother's wedding. But I caught that fucking bouquet, and it was fucking worth it. You just have to get out there and fuck up that brown nosing cocksucker for me. But I can't break through it. I'm not strong enough. Not with your hands, baby. Use what you're good at. I'm not good with my hands? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I probably should have used this earlier, huh? <laughs> I love you, hon. But for fuck's sake. My dear commoners of the Ring of Wrath, I, Stolas of the Arves Goetia, hereby curse this year's harvest with the glow of the true harvest moon. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, the fuck? Blitz! I thought you were still at the ceremony. You thought I wanted to stand around with a bunch of hillbillies excited about corn and shit with a thirsty owl on stage? Huh. And now you seem disappointed in me. Yeah, well, I'm not a fan of someone I offered a job to about to off my easiest lanky ticket to Earth behind my back. Blitz, come on. You know the two of us are superior than most of our kind. And you were so above sucking on a disgusting, rich, pompous Goetia, only to sneak topside for scraps and work for bitter sinners who could care less who you are when you could be slaying overlords. 
Why struggle to run a business that is rigged against you? When you could partner up with me and kill the unkillable. Starting with the one that treats you like a plaything. Ooh, that's kinda hot. We could be the most dangerous beings in hell. Let's. Wow, that was a good fucking bitch. Been workshopping it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm in. Huh? Huh? Took you long enough, Mox! Haha! <laughs> wow, you should have seen your dipshit face! Whoa, whoa. Okay, cliche much. Oh, you daddy fucker! You dumb fucks lost the upper hand fast, huh? Ha! You seem to have forgotten something, bucko. Oh, fucking damn it, Luna. It's a damn shame, Blitz. We might actually have made a good team. Oh well. In your wet dreams, you hockey talk. No! I still think it's embarrassing. You're wasting a lot of potential relying on a weak little. You gonna finish that fucking sentence, partner? Vermin. Who's weak now, bitch? Okay, I'm here. Maybe you'll get me next time, Blitzy. I can't believe you let him trap you, Millie. Haven't we taught you better? I was seeing red, Ma, and he was slippery. Excuses. You're better than that, Mildred. You know, she protected me. And maybe I'm not a strong, beefy dickhead. But Millie has the strength enough for both of us. You two are getting on her case about being hurt by a psychopath you hired? Shame on you. Aw, oh, Moxie, look at you, speaking like a big boy with his big pants. Wow, he nodded. He's never acknowledged your input before. So, is that progress? Uh, I failed to kill the target at the festival. But don't worry, ma'am. It won't happen again. It better not. I want this cheating prick dead. I don't care who you have to go through, make it happen! Understood. I'll get him next time. <laughs> Right there. This was the first sighting. They are definitely from hell. They must use this dark magic to cross over into our world. And they seem to be killing specifically targeted people. But why? They always attack at random, all over the country. There's no way to predict where they'll show up next. Ah, oh, well. That's convenient. Remember, we can't be seen. Pardon my words, sir, but you're currently being the loudest. I said shush your dick-sucking lips, Moxie. Get down! Luna, close it! Wait, no! I think we're going to Moxie! <laughs> I smell <sighs> colors. Back off, you tuxedo wearing fucks! <laughs> I'd like to see the suits at corporate corners loses now. That was pretty badass. Super badass. You, uh, Shit. you okay there? What are you doing sitting there? 
The boys are in trouble! Open it again! Blitz was using a total of zero euphemisms, innuendos, or swears. That means it was serious, which means I don't open it until... Open the fucking portal now! <laughs> It smells like they went this way. Come on, let's find the dumbass twins. Finally awake, huh, little fella? Your partner has been for a while now. Look, shitbag, it takes a lot to keep me down, all right? I took a fuck ton of tranquilizers in the college I dropped out of. Also, I've been strapped nipple first to a car battery, so I, oh, okay. Tell us, demon scum. Who do you work for? Satan? How did you get to our world from the afterlife? Why are you killing humans? When did you show up here? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there, bitch. First of all, we just woke up from a very nasty shock, and I'm still feeling fucking woozy, so I'm gonna request you fetch us some coffee before we get into this. I mean, everyone gets coffee in shitty movies with scenes like this, am I right? I want something iced, bitch, Mox. I'll have a Neapolitan cappuccino, more cappuccino. Make sure it's got no more than four ounces of milk. The beans won't have the right texture otherwise, and make sure they spell my name correctly on the cup. They always put Foxy or Roxy. I hate that. If you can't handle that, I'll have a venti traditional misto. Please use soy milk with two blonde shots, affogato and ristretto. I'd also love three vanilla pumps at the very bottom, then add the coffee after, then add- Enough! We aren't getting his coffee! Wow, I was getting massive douche chills just there, Mox. Congrats. If we have to, we are willing to resort to torture methods to get answers out of you nasty hell beasts. When you say tortured, you mean physical or psychological? Physical seems counterproductive. We would likely tell you anything if it meant an end to the pain and you would have no way of knowing what was true. Or we might like it too much, and then you've got a whole new thing to deal with. What do you mean by that? Ah, you're stupid, huh? I could work with stupid daddy likey dummy. <laughs> Good one, sir. Daddy likey. You gotta stop laughing at us. Yeah! You are the ones at our mercy. It's hard to resist. I'm really sorry. I mean, considering your approach thus far, you've had us tied here for what? Hours? And you haven't even had us confirm what exactly we are. What are you? I'm a Virgo. Ha! Oh, a smart guy, huh? One more quip out of you and we'll shut you up. Oh, getting kinky. <laughs> we aren't playing any of Isle Demon Kinks. I mean, that's what it sounded like back there, you sickos. Please don't give them ideas, sir. Why not? I know the shit you're into. Stop! We are not getting kinky with you. Calm down, one. Don't let these monsters get to you. Hey, aren't we gonna get our phone call, bitch? Well, that entirely depends. Who are you gonna call, hmm? Your fat mom thanking her for a fat time. Nice try, demon. His fat mom is dead! This where they ended up? I think so. Fuck, this looks intense. How are we gonna get in? Lift me up to that van. for an old lady. I'm like five years older than you. Stop insulting my mother! She's dead! Hey, hey, let's just leave them here until they feel like talking. <sighs> Don't worry, Mox. If we keep being obnoxious, they'll eventually slip up and we'll get a chance to get out. Let's just keep fucking with them until they get so frustrated they stop thinking clearly it usually works. Hmm. So the demons want to play games, huh? Well, we could play games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just worried about Millie. She'll be on her way by now, I'm sure. Ugh, she'll be fine, Moxie. It would take a roided up hippo to take down that woman when she's upset. We've never dealt with the human government before. She's in danger. Uh, do you ever honestly shut up about Millie? It's always, oh, how's Millie? I can't tonight. I'm hanging with Millie. I'm so worried about Millie. And she's always five fucking feet away from you. It's pathetic. That 
was oddly personal. Yeah, you know, you're right. I don't know why the fuck I just let my gut spill like that. Sir, they're filling this room with something. Fuck. What the hell is this? I think it's some kind of airborne truth-telling serum. Oh, you just guessed that's what it is? Well, uh, just ask me something specific I wouldn't normally tell you. Okay, uh, does Melly ever peg you? Sometimes. Wait! Ew! Fuck! Why that? <laughs> I knew it. Well, your suit is tacky. Fuck, I'm sorry. <gasps> How fucking dare you! You have shitty taste in music! I'm sorry! Shit taste? You said you liked that musical I recommended to you. I lied. I left halfway through. You... You said you loved it. It was awful, Moxie. It was about ugly, horny cats. Oh, Moxie. I've said so many lies to you. <laughs> this is gonna be a good night. <coughs> Damn it, Moxie. This is all your fault. How is this my fault? Blitz? <coughs> I, I can't see you. God, this smells awful. What's that music? Is that you? Is this a prank? Because I swear to say- It Satan is no prank, bitch. Hey! Why do you sound like that? Because you, my precious little bitch boy- Stop it, are sir! Are tripping balls. No, what? How could this be? I've never tried acid shrooms or DMT. It's a bad trip. Oi, Gavalt! Of course, Blitz, this would be your fault. My lungs are full of honesty. Would you promise me that you won't judge? Yes, bitch. Not trying to divulge too much, but I'm in too deep. So first of all, fuck you! This is just typical. Well, two can play at this game of dismay, because if you're here causing frustration, I'm torturing you in your hallucination. If your orders are as nonsensical as a sun tanning bed left out on the cold rainy porch of a fresh air shower. Now, why are you talking like that? What the fuck does that even mean? I am simply speaking Satan's plain English. Perhaps you should crack open a dictionary sometime, and then maybe you could understand half of the frivolous things I can read on and on about on my daily life without talking. Shut up! Why do you hurt me so? I know. Why must you I push, push my friends, friends away? Why does it seem like a recurring thing that you alienate with your toxic routine? I don't know. Eventually, everyone goes. Because you're thoughtless and cruel, and you'll end up alone. And me, my dear boss, you don't know what you are doing half the time, and you depend on me and the missus to manage your foolish flights of fancy. I don't need you. I can do this shit on my own so easily. But you don't, don't want to think so little. You tried to sell that way. It didn't work out so well. <laughs> Yet you still shove away anyone who gets too close until they resent you for being a selfish, shitty, shitty man. Are you afraid to love people, Blitzy? I believe your self-conscious is trying to tell you that you simply cannot fathom proper intimacy. But also craving as well. It's rather unfortunate, sir, considering it's often how you treat those who stand by you, such as myself. Are you worried I may have enough of it one day as well? Stop fucking talking, all of you! Why, Moxie, why have
Have you held your true feelings inside? I am scared of rejection. Why, Moxie, why do you have Millie put it in your butt? It gives me an erection. No hey. need to hide. We accept your true feelings, so promise me that I can do to, to be, be true. true. The world is your anus, so peg it with honesty. Oh. I've been a jackass, it's true. You've been a jackass, but it's true. But soon as we're back as ourselves, I, I will, will be a better, better friend than I was, I was before. Be better at speaking my mind. And together, together we can begin. begin to become fine. Try one. Do you remember what you said to me after my first day with the company? Not really. I remember. You told me I did a good job and that you were proud to work with me. I feel like you wanted to say something more judgmental, but you said that because I needed it. And it helped. Look, I'm hard on you because I know what you're capable of, Mox. You care too much about what everyone thinks, except for me, because, you know, my opinion is correct. But just keep doing a good job. Okay? You shoot and kill good, you escape things easy, you can be strategic and cold-blooded when you need to, and don't expect any more compliments, I'm maxed out. Thank you, sir. You know my name. Use it. Thanks, Blitz. There's my Millie! Impressive work, Mills! How'd you get here all by yourself? Looney! Get your asses out here before more fuckers show up! Okay, I've had one too many emotions for today, guys. Let's fuck these fuckers up! <laughs> Hey, 
knocked. Oh, wow. Really going for the dick there, ain't you? Here, I got it for you. Now hold this. Oh, yeah! Getting hard holding this motherfucker! <laughs> oh, crumbs. Is everyone okay? Woo! How's that for demon scum? Oh shit, come on fam, let's blow this toxic joint. Quick, the book! Shit, I can't... I can't read the spell in this light. I can't see dick! Well, shit. Looks like we milked this weapon tit dry and now we're out of badassery. <laughs> you demons aren't going anywhere now! Stolas. Mm, good. How the fuck did you get caught by humans? Are you little creatures not being careful up here? You know, if you get in trouble, I get in trouble. We don't want that. They caught us off guard, your highness. Yeah, you can unclench your bird puss, Stolas. It's not gonna happen again, okay? Luckily for you, most don't believe the word of the demon-obsessed lunatics. They are seen as kooks. <laughs> kooks? Such a silly word. Now, let us all return. Yes, please. I'd like to get back to the correct hellhole as soon as possible. Am I going to get any thank you for the rescue, Bitsy? Well, I suppose you should. Want me to fuck your brains out tonight? Very much so. All right, but you're keeping quiet or I'm using those bear traps. Oh, please do. Wow. So what now? What now? We finally got the evidence we needed to be taken seriously. Nobody in corporate is ignoring this. <laughs> I'm taking you tonight. Don't you dare finish a filthy pun in my presence, Moxie. Sides, drinks are on me tonight. Let's hit up the new dive down the street. Actually, sir, it's our one year marriage anniversary. So I'm taking Millie to Ozzy's in the Lust Ring. <gasps> Ozzy's? No way! That place is always books. Yeah, well, 
I've been planning it for quite a while. Moxie! Ah, uh, can you two not? I'm sorry, sir. Maybe another time. Oh, it's fine. I, I can come with the two of you. Help you celebrate your boring as fuck monogamy. Uh, no. The reservation is for us. Uh-huh. Just us. Mm-hmm. Without you there. Explicitly without you there. I'll wear something nice. It's a big deal after all. Yeah. See you, love bugs, later. Relax, sweetie. Don't let him get to you today. Let's just go home and clean this blood off. <laughs> Elevator 666, departing for last in five minutes. Yeah, it's Luna. Whoever you are, go for it. Hey, Looney. Just want to let you know I'm not going to be back home until real late. I got something important tonight. Oh, yeah, I'm with those two. This club is for couples only. It's what? No date, no reservation, no entry. Y you know, you have really nice eyes, Daddy. You fucking prude! Gabriella. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, Blitzy. Stolas. Hey, you, uh, you busy tonight? Um, why do you ask? I was wondering if you want to come with me to a club tonight. Are you asking me on a date, Blitzy? I, yes, I suppose that is what's happening. How fast can you get down to Lust? I can be ready in 20. All right, fantastic. See you soon. I'll see you, Blitzy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Blitzy! I'm here. Wow. That's a bit overkill, don't you think? <laughs> well, well, I, I just wanted to look a little nicer for you. This is our first real date, after all. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess this is, huh? You again? Beat it, shithead! Ahem. Do we have a problem? Oh, oh, uh, shit. Uh, uh, my apologies, Your Highness. Uh, please, go right in. Oh, my. Oh, no. No, but yes. Oh, Blitz. How romantic is this? What made you choose such a place to bring me? Oh, it just sounded like I just thought we'd have a blast here, you know? God. Gotcha. Oh, Blitz, what are you looking at? I'm looking at nothing. How about that? Can I get you two off? I mean, start you two off with some drinks. Yes, um, perhaps some wine to share. Do you prefer red wine or white blitz? Or perhaps some champagne? Yeah, whatever. 
<laughs> Perhaps all three. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> so, Blitz, how was your day? Huh? Oh, uh, good, I guess. We killed a bunch of beardos. That sounds fun. How did you kill them? How? I, I mean, there was a lot of them, so I don't know, bullets? Right, right. So, what made you decide to ask me out after all this time? Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, I see some sexy faces around here tonight. Welcome, welcome to Ozzy's. Lust Ring's number one place for all kinds of sick, twisted fantasies. Put on display for all you sleaze and sleazettes. The gem joint of Osmodius himself. Come on, give him some love. Did he just say Osmodius? Oh, no fucking way. Not him. I am the one and only Fizzarabi. Some of you might recognize this dashing clown face from my numerous toy logic replicas across the rings of hell. Gloriously designed by the big man himself and, uh, ribbed for your pleasure tonight. We have a great lineup for you tonight. Ferocica Mayday, Wet Dream, and the Squirters! But as everyone's warming up, I got a funny one for y'all. Did any of you hear about the bat shittery that happened at Lululand? <laughs> oh yeah, Ooh, wow. You know, I'll tell you what, I'd sure love to shake the hand of the crazy son of a bitch who decided to burn down that off-brand shithole and then slap a fat subpoena in it, because I'm very much looking uh, to sue. That robo-me made us more money entertaining those kids than the ones we sell to get you freaks off, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean! I have four of them! <laughs> okay, keep that guy far away from me. So, without wasting any more time, our little opening act is a fresh one. Coming at us from a little imp from the Wrath Ring, give it up for Moxie! With no creative stage name whatsoever. Hello, everyone. Oh, <clears throat> hi. Uh, thank you for letting me be here. It's an honor to play. Uh, hurry up, bullet. Uh, sing, boy. I say, I say. This song is for my beautiful wife, a surprise for our first anniversary. I love you, Millie. I love you more than the brimstone loves the fire, more than the Elsa loves her bub, more than a maggot loves gangrenous stubs. You make my spirits sing. Yeah, you make me glad I live in hell. Our love is a story sweet to tell. Yeah, you cast a special satanic spell over my heart. Love is a journey we decided to start Yeah, I hope we'll never ever be apart I love you, 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 Ozzy's ain't the place for sentimental sounds. What'd you expect from a proprietor like us? Your demon host, Osmodius, the embodiment of lust. Give me a thrust. You show me some love. From the groin to the bust, in desire we trust in the house of Osmodius. Trumpet. Hey, little imp, you came here to sing your serenade. Form your feelings on a velvety stage. Well, we got a saying that's popular in these parts. Only little bitches strum the strings in their hearts. You want to hang around this lustful town? Ditch the lovey dummy before we knock you around. Here we sing about wants and desire. Depravity, savagery, loin hotter than fire. So give me a thrust. Show me some love. From the groin to the bust, little imp, you just must in the house of Osmodius. Come on, sing us a song. Make sure the subject is getting it on. Make it rough and tacitly loud. Be 
sure to rhyme thong and schlong! Go ahead, the mic's on! I want to... Yeah, what do you want? Butt stuff? Piss play? Bondage? Make gentle love to you. Uh, what a lip dick if you're really killing the vibe. Get a load of this dweeb and his unsatisfied ride. Hey now, I've watched those two pork many times. What? Blitz! And honestly, they make Missionary look relatively exciting. That Blitzo? To your show in your face? Hey everybody! This guy's a total disgrace. Some nerve you got to comment on a relationship. Last I checked, your love life is a pile of shit. Oh, Blitzo? I used to date. Oh, Verasica, you're here. A stroke on my plate. Yeah, but when it was my turn, he didn't know reciprocate. A selfish imp in the sheets. I'm just as bad in the streets. A reckless, heartbreaking at your table. Is your data demon Prince? Stokes, is that you? Are you sleeping with an imp? Woo! My dark lord, how the mighty do fall. You used to have a smoking wife, a kid, you had it all. I hope you didn't give it up so you and him could get it up. You sold your life for a thrust. Now that's the spirit of the lust. Grab your groin or a bust. You better get your hair must. Pretend you don't see that crust Hop till you jump to the dust In the house of Hey! I think you were trying to sing something for me, Mox. Yeah, I was. I love us. I love us just the way we are. Don't have to pretend to like to do things we don't. I've always got you open to laugh at my stupid jokes. I'll never take you for granted. I'll always give you my best. And if you can offer the same fate, we'll handle the rest. Cause I love you. Cause I love you. You know what, this was a mistake. All right, let's just, let's just leave. Oh, right, of course. Mm. Oh, ain't that just such a happy display? It sickens me. Get the fuck out. Thank you for inviting me out tonight. Despite everything that's happened, I, I enjoyed spending time with you. Yeah. You know, I have some more wine in the house. Octavia's with her mother this weekend, so we could. I'm not fucking you tonight, okay? I'm really just... I'm really not in the mood, Stolas. We could talk, or watch a movie, or maybe cuddle. Solus, don't act like what we have is anything but you wanting me to fuck you, okay? You make that really clear all the time. But I just, I, I can't do it tonight, okay? I'm sorry. Okay. Good night, Blitz. Night. You want me to uh. drop you off here? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this looks right. I, uh, haven't been here before. <laughs> Thanks for inviting 
Of course, of course. Hey, everyone, meet the new face. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You want a drink or anything? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, totally. And so I told him, I'm not gonna go get up unless you're fucking proud at this time. That is so not fetch. Not fetch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that happens all the time. <laughs> uh -huh. OMJ. Luna, lunatic Luna, that yo? Uh, yeah, it's Luna. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe you're showing up to another party. I mean, do you even remember the last one? I'm sure you'll remind me. Yeah, this? This year, right? Why do you still have that? It brings me joy. You know, you're supposed to keep things that bring you joy. <laughs> wow. You're being really negative. Your aura is really aggressive right now. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe it's because I'm in the presence of a massive bitch. <gasps> oh, my dog. Wow. What? Is that not an okay thing to say? Like, come on, it's true. You can't say that. Did I miss anything? No, no, no. <laughs> no, nothing. <clears throat> no. Ha <laughs> ha! How are my dirty bitches doing tonight? <laughs> of gluttony. Come on. Hell yeah, because the honey is flowing tonight and this bitch about to get fucking wild. Let's get it too hard with the confetti this time though. I have like 
a rainbow in my vagina right now. Oh, hey, is this the sweet pup you told me about? Excuse me? She's a fucking cutie. Where you been hiding, girl? <laughs> is there something funny? <laughs> nah, I'm just really high on all this tasty energy right now. Tech says you don't get invited out much. I hope this itty bitty get together can serve as a fun first time. Mm -hmm. I would have thrown a bigger one, but I couldn't convince Belfagor to let me break into her stash of party drugs. So fucking lame. I mean, I usually just steal them, but Belle changed the locks. She says I'm a total jackass for trying, but hey, I'm proud to be a total jackass. <laughs> anyway, yeah, B, this is Luna. Luna, this is my girlfriend, B. Nice to meet you, bitch. Oh, this is... She's hot. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, Tex, you didn't tell me she was hilarious. That's so funny. Right. I love that that's the first thing you say to me. You don't give a shit how freaky you come off, and that's fucking beautiful. You are my new favorite person. Am I, though? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> no, really. Reminds me of the first time I saw Satan without a shirt on. I was like, oof, boy, you are hot as hell. But then I wanted to die because it was so awkward because he's more like a brother to me, you know, but not actually my brother. So I guess it was fine. I could hit that. Anyway, girl, you have a good time tonight. Get some sweets, get some eats, drink it, tear it, fuck it up. Woo! <laughs> Cheers, honey. Thank you for coming. Do you need anything? Are you having fun? Are you good? Are you drunk? Okay, good. Okay, great. Are you good? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, what? Why? You just got here. At least one drink, right? Nope, you really wouldn't like me after one drink. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to go. Hey, that sounds like Blitzo! The O is silent, asshole! Hey, I knew it was you! Fuck, man, where you been? You, you here for the party? No, no, I'm just here picking up my daughter. Oh, shit, you have a daughter now? Adopted! Man, you're already leaving? Things just got started. Come in and show us all up again. No, no, thank you, but I think Looney wants to head back. Oh, uh, howdy next to you wants to leave? Watch it. I mean, we could stay a little longer. I think we need to go. Okay, I think it's been a long night. Well, these people seem to know you. Come on. I think I want to give this another try. Please. Okay, fine. Maybe one drink. Blitz! 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 with the big bitch and boy, I got a challenge for you. Oh, he's gonna die. All right, let's do this. From B's personal supply, the hardest shit there is. You ready, my man? Oh, born ready. Bring it, Barky. I will drink you under this fucking table. You have no idea what kind of night I've had. <laughs> Talker, but there hasn't been a soul yet who can beat me at my own game. So you better bring the fire, baby. Oh, is Queen Bee too scared to lose to a little imp like me? Oh, okay. Let's get it on, you little bastard. Come on, Blitz! Fuck her up! You can do it! Well, fuck me. What's a first? I haven't had a first in a while. That was magical, seriously, impressive. I tip my crown to you, imp boy. Respect. Ow, ow! Hey, 
Hey, Lou, I don't mean to be a buzzkill here, but your, uh, dad, guy dude, is, um, he's seeming a bit... Out of control. Like, a mess. Yeah, it's worrisome. You wanna maybe check on him or something? What? No! No, Blitz is fine. He's always a mess. Trust me. Look, honey, I see people having fun and getting fucked up all the time, but he's clearly getting wasted off his ass and causing problems on purpose, so I feel like you should check up on him at least. Just see if something's up. Don't act like you know him like I do. I ain't saying that. I'm just pretty sure he's had like four tongues inside him at once. I mean, good for him. But I can taste the flavor of people at my parties and he's giving off a very not okay vibe, you know? Oh yeah, and I bet you'd know the okay vibe, right? I mean, everyone likes you so much. What's that supposed to mean? You got a problem? Sorry. Don't call me. <sighs> Sorry, yeah. Nope, I'll, uh, I'll check on him. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I know, I got a little spicy there. I just hope everything works out. Now let's dance. Blitz! Blitz! Where are you, shithead? Blitz! Oh, oh piss on a dick! What the fuck are you doing, Blitz? This guy. It looks like you're in the middle of a goddamn orgy. Stop! Look, I didn't expect you to come in here and see any of this loony. I'm so sorry, but it's a party. I'm just having fun with, um, fuck is your name again? Dennis. Christ on a stick, you would be a Dennis. Get the fuck away from me. I'm not fucking a Dennis tonight. I need a Monica or Alejandro in here. Stat. Better. You don't need anyone else sucking your face, freaky weirdo. You need to drink something other than Beezle juice. Uh, no. Do you need to throw up? No. <laughs> yeah, you do. I had a really shitty day. Oh yeah? Is that why you drank like five gallons worth of who knows what? Fuck, Fizz was right. I'm gonna die alone, aren't I? Just a wrinkly, old, weathered waste. Will you be there, Looney? Beware. Uh, it's, it's lonely, I won't die alone. I'll be there, Dad. Now go the fuck to sleep, okay? Smell the Fuck. Yeah, I did need to throw up.